Now, death. It is a delicate subject and it's a difficult one, but it is the cycle of life and it is something you cannot avoid forever. The Victoria Hospice helps people and their families providing end-of-life care in a warm and safe environment. The hospice relies on donations for half its operating budget every year, but raising money for a service that no one is comfortable talking about can be a challenge. One young man from Victoria is trying to change that pedal by pedal. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. <laughs> Surrounded by family, friends and supporters, Sean Jacklin is about to embark on the trip of a lifetime. A little bit nervous actually now. This morning was good, uh, and but uh, now it's just time to, to do it and get on the bike and start going. Proud of him. Very. Yeah. Sean has a long way to go. His cycle of life tour will take him 7,500 kilometers from mile zero in Victoria to St. John's, Newfoundland, raising money and awareness for Victoria Hospice. You know, I see the uh, the need that they need from the community, and I, as a young student, I can't say, hey, here's a chunk of money, but I can uh, take the summer off and, and try to get that from other people. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Similar to the start of Sean's journey, Victoria Hospice assists people at the end of theirs, surrounding them with love and support, either at hospice at Jubilee Hospital or at home with the palliative response team. We're able to allow patients to be able to die in the comfort of their home with their loved ones surrounding them. It costs more than $7 million to operate Victoria Hospice, half funded through VHA, the other half through donations from the community. Last year, Graham Robertson did the first cycle of life tour, riding from Anchorage, Alaska to Victoria, raising $13,000 for Victoria Hospice. And they recognize that hospice is a really important cause and that it's hard to fundraise um, when it comes and deals with issues like what we do with end-of-life care. And they're just champions for us. Today, those champions are riding side by side to the ferry, where Graham will send Sean off to complete his 10-week odyssey. It's nice to know it's sort of it's in capable hands, I'm pretty sure. He's got younger legs than I did, so I'm pretty sure he'll make it just fine. Sean admits he doesn't have much of a plan. I'll be in Chilliwack tonight, and uh, after that, um, in my tent and, and biking, or biking, one of the two. So, yeah, that's, that's it. But he says the memory of his grandparents, who spent their last days in hospice, will keep him going. As he conquers mountains, plains, and other challenges Mother Nature throws at him, one pedal and one dollar at a time. Louise Hartland joins us now with more. Louise Sean has a goal to raise uh, what about fifty thousand dollars? How can folks uh, donate and help him? Hudson, Sean will be blogging about his 7,500-kilometer trek along the way on, Cycle of Life, on the Cycle of Life website, cycleoflifetour.ca. There you'll also find information about how to donate, including a fundraising event next weekend, Massage for a Cause. Get a massage from a participating registered massage therapist, and 100% of the proceeds will go to Victoria Hospice in support of Sean. So far, he's raised about $10,000, and I just got a text message from Sean. He has made it safely to Abbotsford on his way to Chilliwack Good for the night. Good for him. I'd like to get him one of those massages. He could probably use one. He definitely yeah. could. <laughs> All right. Louise, thank you. You're welcome.